Hello everybody, this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Gridseed Blade ASIC script miner using BFG Miner. So here it is, it's brand new, I just got it um, and it can hash at a speed of 5200 kilohashes per second to about 6000 kilohashes per second. So that is uh, 5,200 kilohashes per second or 5.2 mega hashes. So actually each unit has two boards and on each board there are 40 chips. And the boards go inside this case where there's two heat sinks. And at the back of it there is also a fan to keep it cool. So it's pretty nice pretty not that large actually feels really sturdy and good quality so one thing I want to note is at the bottom here you'll see there's a little cable this can sometimes come um, come out so make sure this is pressed in this will power the fan okay this powers the fan at the back so it's quite important on the other side there is also another little socket here but there's no fan to that so don't worry if you don't have anything there it doesn't matter so um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So make sure it's on the correct position. And um, basically, what you'll need is you'll need your miner, grid seed blade miner. You'll need two mini USB cables, one for each uh, board of the miner, and you also need uh, two power supplies, one for each board of the miner. So actually, it takes a 12 volt, 5 amp. Um, power supply, one for each board. So I'm going to be using this um, LED power supply here, which is uh, 12 volts, 30 amps. So actually, I could power about three um, grid seed blade miners off from this. So I've just wired it myself. So don't worry if you don't know how to, uh, if you get one of these and it's not wired for you, I'm going to make a video showing you how to wire it. So it's very easy to do. You just take a um, you take a computer cable and you wire it to this. So let me show you how to do it all. So the first thing you want to do is uh, download and install the driver. So we're going to be using virtual COM port driver. So I'll put the link in my video. So run the virtual COM port setup file. I've done this before, but for you, it'll be the first time. Okay, and then you should see this ST Microelectronics USB ready to use when it's successfully installed. That's great. Click finish. Okay, next, um, what we have to do now is connect up the miner. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, connect up the micro USB. So connect up the USB data cable here, just like that. So, so I mean connect up your mini USB data cable, plug it in here, next one. So you'll have two plugged into there like that, great. Next I'm going to connect up my power supply, so again one power supply for each uh, board okay plug it in there great okay now I'm going to uh, turn on the power supply uh, it starts buzzing away Right, that's a good sign. And okay, now um, I'm going to be connecting up my uh, miner to a USB hub. So actually you can connect it directly to your PC, it doesn't matter. But maybe if you have a lot of these, you might want to buy a little hub so that you can um, connect them all up 
right? So I'm using this uh, 49 port iBoot hub, which is really nice. So you could, you could fill this whole hub up with um, grid seed blade miners, no problem at all. All the five chip uh, miners as well. Okay, power, great. So now I'm going to plug in these cables. Uh, just do one at a time. So plug it in. And then look at your computer. It should say uh, driver successfully installed. Great. Excellent. Okay, next one, plug that into. driver successfully installed excellent so almost ready so now um, go and download the modified version of BFG minor so this is an old version of BFG minor actually um, it doesn't show the correct speed I mean it shows the speed but some parts are a bit wrong so we are working on a, a newer version of BFG minor that will fully support the, um, the blade and it will show the 100% correct speed and same for CG Miner, but at the moment we only have this one. So download your um, BFG Miner software, extract it to your chosen location. Uh, I put mine on the desktop. Here it is. BFC Grid. So the moment of truth, let's see, does it mine? So ready, uh, double click the start mining.bat file. Okay, excellent. So you should see two devices here, grid seed uh, 0, grid seed 1. These are the two different boards for the miner, so board 1, board 2. And um, it will start hashing away now. So what I was saying before was, because we're using an old version of BFG miner, we're still developing um, the software to fully support this uh, grid seed blade. So actually, uh, these two speeds here are wrong. So the 5 second and the all time average high are wrong. And then the two speeds at the end will show the correct speed. So you just give it a few minutes and that will start to warm up. Each one should go to about 2.5. Here we go. So there it's going now. So let's just give it a few minutes. There we go, 2.3. So we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll see what the speed is. Hello everyone, so now it has been running for 6 minutes and the speed is 5.5 .5 mega hashes or we can say 5,500 5, uh, kilo hashes because uh, 1,000 kilo hashes is 1 mega hash. So there you go, one board is at 2.8, the other one is at 2.6, so uh, that's quite good. So thank you very much, and um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that speed, so I'm going to leave the settings like that. Okay, so thank you, and uh, happy mining. Um, if you're interested in buying one of these, then please go over to my site, uh, www.iboot.com. Uh, happy mining. Bye-bye.